Here's a fun little story from Hollywood. Uh, the Hollywood Elite, uh, a big list of names, want a radical transformation of society. Now, why would they want that? Hmm, maybe because they have nothing better to do. And they're going, well, what, what should I be doing? I can't work on any projects. I'm not allowed to. Let's talk collectively. Oh, I wonder what uh, political ideology they're going to share. So <laughs> here we have like Robert De Niro, Joaquin Phoenix, all these millionaires. And they're talking about the, the COVID-19 crisis, of course, and this is what's caused this. So they have all these opinions on the topic. So this is reported by Deadline, uh, titled No to Return to Normal. Okay, what's, what's the story here? The COVID-19 pandemic is a tragedy. Okay, the crisis is, however, inviting us to examine what is essential and what we see is simple. Adjustments are not enough. The problem is systemic. Now, what is the problem? Is it the possibility that people have been researching viruses and this is the product of too much uh, genetic manipulation that could cause the downfall of humanity? No. Is it because uh, people are reduced to bare necessities and they have nothing better to do than contemplate life? Yeah, sure. But what do these people who live in gigantic houses and have all these investments and savings, what do they talk about? transforming society as opposed to making society better. Or at least this is their version of that, of course. The ongoing ecological catastrophe is a meta-crisis. I don't even know what that word means. The massive extinction of life on Earth is no longer in doubt. What are you talking about? Are, is this like some weird beyond future understanding of humanity, like some sort of Isaac Asimov novel where it's inevitable that all life will die? It's like, yeah, all life will die on earth. Uh, nothing is eternal. The, the sun will die out eventually, just not anytime soon. And all indicators point to a direct existential threat. Yeah, I, I, I agree. If everything is going to be destroyed, that is an existential threat. Unlike a pandemic, however severe, a global ecological collapse will have immeasurable consequences. All right, now I'm confused. I thought the pandemic was the ecological catastrophe. Now he's saying, unlike the pandemic, an ecological collapse. So ecology, which I'm assuming is related to the environment, uh, living organisms, the physical and surroundings. Yeah, so apparently humanity cannot live with the planet anymore. Okay, we've been doing so far pretty well <laughs> for thousands, if not millions of years perhaps billions, uh, what, what happened? What did we do? We therefore solemnly call upon leaders and for all of us as citizens to leave behind the unsustainable logic that still prevails and to undertake a profound overhaul of our goals, values, and economies. Okay, I have nothing wrong with people talking to leaders saying, hey, I want you to change our goals and our values because what is a group of people aside from everyone who shares a common goal, that's fine. The problem is the last one, economies. What the hell are you talking about? What's, what's wrong with our economy? What exactly is, there's lots of things wrong with it, but there's lots of things right with it. So let's get to the nitty gritty and talk about economics. I'd, I'd love to hear that discussion from the Hollywood elite. What insights into your millionaire uh, income is, is, are you going to share with us? How to make more money? That'd be great. How to get more resources? That'd be great. But it sounds like it might not be the case. The pursuit of consumerism and an obsession with productivity have led us to deny the value of life itself. Um, really? Because if you don't produce, you don't get to eat. That's, that's kind of a rule of nature. Uh, if you don't hunt and gather, you're going to die. So it makes sense that humanity has thrived so well because we produced so much. We have so many resources to survive and to thrive and reproduce and, and teach our children how to do so. So I'm not seeing a problem with the obsession with having proactive behavior. But now consumerism has caused a devaluation of that of plants, 
that of animals, and that of a great number of human beings. Now, this does not make sense because when you're talking about consumerism or capitalism, the exact opposite happens. You create habitats for those resources, plants. You create farms. Same with animals. You create all sorts of places for animals to thrive and be used as resources for food or whatever. So we've actually nearly destroyed our natural resources. We say, oh, no, no, we're going to preserve this and as well as allow us to use it as resources. So we've saved all sorts of species of fish, all sorts of species of animals, plants, etc. cetera. Uh, nature has taken care of us, or rather has taken care of the destruction of all these things without any of our involvement. There's all kinds of species dying every day, and we, we've never heard of these. So us preserving a salmon habitat, as well as using salmon for commerce or food for personal use, fantastic. Same with all sorts of plant life, all sorts of animal life. So I'm not seeing how this is a bad thing. Pollution, climate change, and the destruction of our remaining natural zones has brought the world to a breaking point. Okay, pollution is always going to be a bad thing. There's, there's really no way around it. Uh, it depends what kind of pollution. It depends how you pollute, how you dump, how you uh, eliminate waste. There's, that's always going to be a problem. So I understand what they're coming from. Landfill sites, um, water supplies, that sort of thing. Always got to be careful of that. Climate change, uh, it's a buzzword. Let's not talk about that. And the destruction of our remaining natural zones. Uh, this, I don't know what they're talking about. Are they talking about industry in third worlds that are destroying uh, foresting? I don't know. We have to be very specific. I want to know exactly what they're talking about here. So pollution, I'm totally on board with. Makes complete sense. Uh, more productivity increases pollution in a very unhealthy way. We can see that from major uh, cities in the world. Uh, but again, what, what do we have to do? Do we have to invest in more technology for cleaning up pollution? Uh, do we have to ban certain plastics or create biodegradable plastics? Like what, what exactly is the problem? I want to know. Climate change is not an issue. Destruction of our remaining natural zones, I don't know what they're talking about there. For these reasons, along with increasing social inequalities. Oh, oh, so there's other reasons. So we have the, we have the planet. We got to protect the planet. And now we have increasing social inequalities. Which ones? Which, which countries? Which states? Which cities? Which social inequalities? What are you talking about? We believe it is unthinkable to go back to normal. Well, I really hope we go back to normal pretty soon because I don't think sitting at home and working unproductively for less than 20 hours a week or sometimes even less, sometimes zero hours a week is a horrible recipe for, for living. So we need more work. We need more options for jobs, more options for entrepreneurship and other things. We don't need to decrease that. That's... We wouldn't have cities anymore. We wouldn't have, we, well, we wouldn't have any marketplaces. It would just be this weird hunter-gatherer approach to life, I guess. The radical transformation we need at all levels, all levels of what? What are you talking about? Society? Commerce? Resource gathering? What are you talking about? Demands boldness and courage. Sure. It will not happen without a massive and determined commitment. So this, uh, we, yeah, but to do, like, what are you talking about? We must act now. No, we, we, <laughs> you don't act when no one has any resources and is struggling to survive. When joblessness has reached an all-time high or some all-time highs. It is much a matter of survival as one of dignity and coherence. You know what? Coherence, I think, is the number one uh, word in this entire paragraph. What the hell are you guys talking about? <laughs> so the Daily Wire brought up a full list of all this, the signees and there's all these people, all these famous people, all these millionaires, ba 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 actor, singer, director. Oh, you got a Nobel Prize in physics, chemistry. Yeah, people want to change society. We get it. To what though? What are you talking about? All these people. 
With the world still reeling from the current pandemic, what do you think of these demands by some... I I don't know what to think because I have no idea what the hell they're talking about. Climate change? We have a serious problem with keeping the lights on and you want to talk about climate change. People are dying because they're too old and they're weak to infections. And you're worried about pollution. Very odd thing to say. Um, I guess these people have nothing better to do. Like Ricky Martin. Who the hell wants to take their marching orders from Ricky Martin? Like It's, it's just a, a silly bunch of people who don't know what they're talking about. Even if they're at Nobel Prize in Medicine, do they know what they're even agreeing to? Climate change. Give me a break. Anyway... This was a fun little story. I don't know what's up with these people, but you know, you got nothing better to do. You, we got to change society. We got to stop being so focused on productivity and giving people what they want. <laughs> it's okay. Thanks for your opinion, Hollywood, but uh, I'll, I'll wait for a further uh, manifesto with some details before I sign up. Have yourself a great day, guys.